We're out here to uh, conduct an efficacy study on the shoe tag product. Shoe tag is a frequency barrier uh, for insect repellent. Dr. Reiner Fink, uh, Texas A&M University. I'm an associate professor in electronics and I'm an expert in semiconductor testing or small signal testing. So most products that are out there right now are chemical based. Uh, the, the newer products on the market like the uh, tag that's, that's available from Thermocell, which is a small thermal device which emits uh, chemicals based on, uh, on a chemical reaction, a heat-based chemical reaction, and the off uh, clip-on tag, which is an electronic uh, dispersion method of chemicals. Um, this technology in and of itself is, is an advantage based on the fact that it requires no battery power, requires no butane. Um, and it also will travel with the individual should the individual move. Most of the other technologies out there, once the chemical field has been built around, let's say, the thermocell or around the, the, the off tag, um, once you move, that chemical field stays behind and you have to rebuild that field. This is an electromagnetic field and it should travel as sort of a shield around the person, irrespective of movement or wind direction. Okay, so the protocol today for this, this experiment uh, involves two different tents. The tents each are identical. They're 10 foot by 10 foot by 82 inches. Um, they're canopy type tents, which means they don't have a floor on them. Um, they're mesh see-through tents so that you can see clearly what's going on inside and air movement can go through the tent. Uh, we're out in a fairly open field here. Uh, tents are about 30 to 50 feet apart. We'll measure that specifically for the protocol. The mosquitoes were purchased and hatched from larva stage and equal number of larvas were hatched in equal tanks and so we're assuming the survival rates were identical. Both tents are going to have participants in them. Um, what looks like right now we're going to have two males and one female in each tent. One tent is going to be set up with individuals that have nothing protecting them from the mosquito bites. One tent is going to be set up with uh, individuals that have shoe tags on. Um, mosquitoes will be released into the tent. The, the, the Participants will have to survive in the tent as long as possible. Um, once the, the preliminary experiment is done, those individuals that have the shoe tag on will release the shoe tag back outside the tent and will go back in to verify that the tag actually had an effect on, on the number of mosquito bites that they were going to get. Um, individuals will be wearing a mosquito suit and the only part that will be available for mosquitoes to bite should be the arms. And then the mosquito bites will be counted and, and cataloged so that we can get an identification of, of how effective the devices were. We did uh, get some volunteers, we're paying them a little bit of money, and they are wearing tags. Uh, some of them are encoded and good, and some of them are not. They don't know yet whether they have good tags or bad tags. I feel, I feel bad for them, but they volunteered. Now we know who works and who doesn't work. If you guys want to get together, working over here, non-working over here, we prepared for it last night, actually. Yeah, we sort of had a team building dinner. <laughs> a lap sit, trust fall. Well, we just found out that we didn't have working tags, so we haven't really had much time to strategize. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little nervous about getting bail lot, but that's okay. The latest. Okay, one, two, three, shoot time! <laughs> it's like getting on the space shuttle, sort of, you know? Open them. What? Here, Pastor. Just chilling with some mosquitoes. How are they doing over there? Are they getting eaten up? Look at my arm. Oh yeah. Wow. See that? Look at that arm. I can't look at it. Yes, they're biting. <laughs> Time's up. Everybody out. All right, everybody jump out quickly. Get him off you. Get him off you. Yeah, that was some serious concentration of mosquitoes. Mine get really swollen. They start out like that and then they get really. All right. Okay, we're done. Counting. Okay. And what we're going to do now is those individuals that were tagged when they went in the first time are now going to go back into the tent without the tags and then we're going to see if there's any kind of a, a bias of 
mosquito magnet versus non mosquito magnet bite. kind of people. Oh. Bite, bite. Bite. They seem to be more aggressive right now. I They're would very say. angry. They're more aggressive than they were in the. Before, it really was like it took them a while like to it. figure out what they were Ow. doing. They'd kind of land on you and walk around and kind of go. I will never forget this moment. They're definitely worse. Is that all you need to know? All right, you ready? Come on out. Quick, 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 quick. Shake them off, shake them off. Ah! I got them on my legs this time. Not last time, but this Through time. Through the net. Through the net without the shoe tag. And there's one. Oh, here's the one. Six, six, uh, oh. Seven. That's it. 27, 28, 10, 9, nope. 30, right there. 31, 25, 2, that's a big one. 31 right there. 26, 35. I like the elbows. It went very well, actually. It exceeded my expectations. I always felt very confident that the product worked. I didn't know how effective the product would actually be. Again, as I stated earlier, no, no product is 100% effective. But I think once we run the numbers, we're going to see that um, the product significantly reduced the amount of mosquito bites on uh, the individuals. I think it was a good idea from Dr. Fink for the, uh, the people that were wearing the shoe tags to take them off and go back in. Uh, we saw that they actually got bit more after they took the shoe tags off than they did previously. And that was in a tent with mosquitoes that had already been biting people. We did overburdened the tents with mosquitoes, for lack of a better word. Uh, we put a thousand mosquitoes in a very confined area and we put three people in there. You won't find that in nature uh, in very many places. So, you know, in your backyard to have a thousand mosquitoes in a 10 by 10 area, it's just not going to happen. Um, but again, very favorable results.